Tree here. I am here to share a crafty tip, a crafty tip to use a wire hanger. So I might be jumping ahead a little bit, but we're going to make an amazing fall decoration using a wire hanger. So when you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so you have your wire hanger. You can get these from Amazon, you can get them from Walmart, anywhere. Wire hanger is very flexible. What you're gonna do is bend your wire hanger just like this, and you're easily gonna form a pumpkin. It's very, very simple. So you're gonna just come around just like this, keep curving it until you get any shape pumpkin you want. Your pumpkin can be tall, it can be fat and round, whatever shape you want your pumpkin to be. But do you see how easy the wire bends? So just like this, you're gonna have your pumpkin shape. So once you got your pumpkin shape, just looking just like that, round and circle, we're gonna go to the next step. Everybody, you've got your round, wire hanger into the shape of a pumpkin. Now what we're gonna use is, we're gonna use a piece of material. You can use any material you want. I am using a piece of lace, and what I did was I cut it into a square that's gonna cover the whole wire pumpkin. You're gonna do that. You're gonna take your hot glue gun. You're gonna come around just like this, around the whole wire of your pumpkin. And you're gonna come around and you're going to just add hot glue so that you can adhere your wire hanger to your material. So just come around, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna add another piece of lace to the top. So just push your pumpkin down just like this. And if you miss the wiring a little bit, just bring it on down just like this. So after you get it all around just like that, add a little bit more hot glue to the top of your wire hanger just like this. The more hot glue, the better, guys. Bring the more, more hot glue coming around just like that. Bring your second piece of material. It could be lace, it could be whatever you want. Put it on top. Make sure you pull your material very tight, just like this. And then push down, I'm gonna use my scissors here. Push down to get them all to connect together, just like this. So you want both pieces of material to connect together. So hold it all down just like this. Give it a few seconds for the glue to all dry together. And just take your fingers and push it all down. Make sure, quick tip is to make sure your material is pulled nice and tight, just like that. So when it's all dried, now we're going to take your scissors and you're going to come around and you're going to cut all the excess material off and if you can see I'm leaving about a half an inch from the metal from the material so you're going to just come completely around your whole pumpkin Okay, so it should be cut all the way around. When that's all done, we're gonna go on to the One next step. two edges here to be a finished off edge. So all I'm gonna do is take some glue, just like this, and we're going to just fold it over. It's just gonna give you a finished ending side end, just like this, a finished edge. Do it to both sides, just like this, come across just like that, fold it over just like this. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the little hook part of your hanger that forms the hook of your pumpkin. You're gonna put this just like this, but you wanna make sure that this is gonna come onto your lace just like that, and then you're going to fold this over and you're gonna glue it all together just like that, and you're gonna have a stem to your pumpkin. So all you're gonna do is, I'm gonna bend this in just a little bit, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some glue right down here, and I'm going to just put this in place I'm going to add some more glue right here. I'm going to bring this side over just like that. Again, make sure that this is coming down onto your lace of your pumpkin or your material of your pumpkin or whatever you have material wise. Come around just like this and be sure to close off all of your ends just like this. And then what it's giving you is a stem to your pumpkin. 
Okay guys, so you've got your pumpkin. So I used the lace to form the whole pumpkin and then we used the burlap for the stem. Now I would love to add a little greenery, some little foliage to it. So what we're gonna use is just the green burlap ribbon just like this. And all I did was cut a long strip of it and now we're gonna attach it. Okay everybody, now we're gonna add a little greenery to our pumpkin. So what I did was I cut the strip of the burlap ribbon just like this. Guys, any thickness, any length you want this to be, um, I'm just here to shoot out the idea and you're to run with it and get creative. So I took the piece of ribbon just like this. I'm going to quickly just tie it up just like this. Just one little loop just like that. Okay, now I want it to form like a leaf. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make sure you pull it, pull it, and now I want it to be more of a shape of a leaf. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm going to just take my scissors, and I'm gonna just cut it off just like that, and it gives you a little shape of a leaf. And then we're gonna do this side too. And then you've got two little greeneries and then we're going to add a little bit of glue right under here. This is optional. You don't have to add the glue. I feel like the glue is just going to help hold it all in place. Just push it down and it's just going to give you the look of two green leaves just like that. How amazing is that guys? Okay everyone, our pumpkin is complete. So look, this is a crafty tip. One wired hanger, you can create a stinking amazing pumpkin. Now, I love this. I love all the color scheme we've got going on here, but some people might want it to scream a little bit more fall. So what you're gonna do is take basic spray paint right here. This is called Rustic Orange. You could get it in any craft store. Take a spray paint, go outside, give the lace or whatever material you have, a light spray paint coat of your spray paint and bam you would have this is that not amazing so look you can have it more of an orange you can have it cream i i'm just here to share my crafty tip i hope you all enjoy it one wire hanger you could get so stinking creative so everyone i hope you enjoy this crafty tip i hope you will all go like comment and subscribe that way you don't miss out on my upcoming new videos for youtube thanks for watching